Ian says, a Christian woman who says Jesus peace be upon him is one of the three or considers Jesus as God and not a prophet. Is it permissible for a Muslim man to marry her or to marry a Jewish woman? What type of Christian or Jewish women can Muslim men marry? Now, this question is frequently asked. And the problem is that people usually confuse the issue of Muslim men marrying Christian women. Why would they confuse this? Because in the Quran, Allah says to us that do not marry idol worshippers or women who commit shirk until they believe. So this is black and white. A Muslim man is not permitted to marry a Hindu woman, to marry a Sikh woman, to marry a Buddhist woman, to marry any other religion where they associate others with Allah. End of story. But we have a verse in Surah Al-Ma'idah that clearly states that it is permissible for a Muslim man to marry a woman from the people of the book who are the Jews and the Christians. So now people come and say, okay, the ayah in chapter 5, Surah Al-Ma'idah, where it is permitted for us to marry the people of the book, women, is referring to Jews and Christians. We have no problem with that. But today's Christians believe in Trinity. So they are idol worshippers. You go to a Catholic church and you would find statues of Mary, of uh, uh, Jesus Christ on the cross. So they claim of uh, St. Paul, St. Petersburg, whatever. They, they have their saints and they worship them. You, you find them in their houses putting these idols and they're calling them. This is idol worshiping. So the confusion comes here and people nowadays say, hmm, yeah, these are mushrik. We can't marry them. Christians at the time of the Prophet ﷺ, we can marry. But this is not true. Because Allah Azza wa Jal addresses the Christians in the Quran, which was revealed upon the Prophet ﷺ, and addresses them of believing in Trinity. So Allah tells us, for example, in, in chapter Verse uh, uh, 72, chapter 5 in Surah Al-Ma'idah. Those who say that Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, is Allah, they have committed blasphemy. And also says in, chap in, in the same chapter, verse 73, he, they, they, they who say that Allah is one of three, they have committed blasphemy. So, at the time of the Prophet ﷺ, the same beliefs of the Christians of today were the same beliefs at the Christians at the time of the Prophet ﷺ, who told us that it is permissible to marry uh, uh, people of the book. Therefore, there is no ambiguity in this, uh, uh, Sufyan. A Muslim man can marry a Muslim woman, he can marry a Christian woman, and he can marry a Jewish woman. There is no ambiguity in that, inshallah. Is it recommended? This is something for you to weigh the pros and cons, because through the track record, we found out that in so many cases, when marrying a Christian woman, this has a very negative impact on the children. And in times of dispute, a woman takes her children, she goes back to her country and makes your children raised up as Christians, leaving Islam. So was it worth it at the end of the day? This is for you to decide.